Welcome back and just a super short update this time because uh, Mother Nature conspired over the weekend to uh, try and slow us down and actually succeeded in that the roads were pretty icy still yesterday and so Jeff and, and uh, Zach weren't able to make it in and uh, Devin's taking the week off. So it's just me in the shop and so I was working on a few things. This is one of the things I um, took all the stuff off this uh, door frame that Jeff laid up on Friday so he could la lay the last few layers in the top part of the frame there so that um, was all ready to go and then I was working on a couple of other things that you'll see here shortly and actually this was today so we've got those door handles and decided not to create a jig and just sort of do this by hand so just basically lined up uh, where those holes needed to be and you can see that I've got a drill bit uh, there because I just don't have um, a, um, a bolt right now or a pin for that and you can see the actions working nicely and so we st we have to bond um, some bushings in the back side there um, so we have a way of you know fixing that to the inside of the door frame permanently but anyway right now it's just held in there with the drill bit and it seems to be working fine and next up here you can see Jeff laid in the last couple of layers in the upper side of the frame there and just bagged that um, this afternoon so that one will be ready to release uh, tomorrow and I'll be uh, pulling the fixture out of storage and getting that one set up so I can trim it with the machine so that'll be good having both door frames done um, and then step closer to being able to bond the fuselage together and along those lines we're prepping the outer door frame molds um, so we can lay up those and the same type of thing as the inner ones we're going to have to create some of those pressure blocks that fit in where the door locks are so that's the first step and that'll be uh, tomorrow when we get some more uh, wax coming in the shop because we put a thin layer of wax in there which acts um, to sort of pretend to be the same thickness as the, as the door lap because those blocks have to be matching the inside of the uh, carbon fiber and not the actual mold. And Roberto and Chris are in this afternoon so they are working on um, continuing finishing off this um, particular mold that was started last week so that one they put down another layer of lightweight uh, fiberglass on there and we're working on putting the heavyweight one on to finish that off. And this afternoon Jeff and I did a little bit more work on the spa laying up a couple more layers um, in the sort of um, right angle corner there on the upper and lower of the spa there along with some cabasil just to smooth things out. So that one's just about ready for trimming now. And back to Monday when I was in the shop all on my own um, after I was you know working on finishing off the, off the door frame I decided to start working on some tool paths for the uh, lock boxes so these are the ones I came up with so these are ones that are drilling the various different holes in the large hook boxes and then here you can see you're going to actually be doing a back and forth swarf cut in order to cut out this slot for where the actuator sort of goes through the side of the box and then uh, lastly there's the hole in the bottom there where the hook sticks out so in order to cut that out I'm just going to get the machine to do that as well and that's just basically going to do a a swarf cut that goes round and round and round and slowly steps down because remember we're cutting aluminum now and not you know not putty and that so we've got to run slower and uh, much tighter step over and not so deep each time and to sort of facilitate all that I needed to get um, a proper machining vise that is really accurate and is going to hold these boxes tightly so I picked up this one on eBay used and that's going to do the job so I'm going to actually um, weld up a steel frame for it that we can uh, clamp tightly to the table the same way that we do with our regular uh, platforms and I can line it up with our straight edge on the side. Anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching.